my crafties, it's Tree. I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I'm here with a project share tutorial on the In Love Arts um, dies that I just received a while back. <laughs> it is the Benny in the Cup, and there are four pieces. I am just going to use the Benny head as well as the um, the Benny head and the paws. Right here. I kept the paws connected together. So Benny head and paws. I'm also using from the egg with bow knot the bow. And I'm also using from this other set the daily phrases. And I'm using the one that says just there it is. Just for you. And it comes with a shadow, so that's I love that. Okay, so these are my samples. Oh, so super duper cuter. I love how they turned out. The bunny, and then um, I made a little egg. Oh, so the egg comes from the uh, bunny in bow knot as well, the outer egg, but it wasn't large enough for my purpose. So if you don't know, Sometimes I take the largest die that I have, and then I take um, a Sharpie marker or something, and um, I go around it until it's the width that I want. I don't know if you can see that. That's a little bit bigger. And so I wrote egg pocket, and then I cut another one, and I used my scallop scissors to just cut across the edge there, and it says egg pocket. So that's what I did there. Let me put some stuff away. Time to clean house so we can get crafting. So um, I want to thank In Love Arts for allowing me to showcase their products on my channel. Uh, I love working with them. Their products come very quickly. They're in uh, good quality and well priced. Uh, there is also a coupon code. It is capital T for tree craft on all one word and you get 25% off your order. So take advantage of that. Uh, let's see. I wanted to see, and I did bring one here somewhere. There it is. A uh, gift card. And I wanted to see if one would fit in this pocket. Uh, kind of barely fits. It won't fit all the way. So if you wanted to adjust um, and stick, make that egg bigger, that's up to you. Or possibly it could go that way. That would be cute. So um, really fun. I like this uh, this little project. So I'm going to put these guys up here so you can still see them, but uh, we're going to get to work. And I went ahead and I die cut some pieces, but we're going to need to do some more cutting and pasting. So this is the pad I'm using. It is basic and it's by Recollections. Um, I got it one time they had buy one get one at 50% off so I went ahead and took advantage of that and then basically the, um, this is Recollections 65 pound pink and then I think that this one nope it's pink this one is their uh, shimmer cardstock so what I'm going to do then is take my pattern now that I have it and this is a 110 pound cardstock. You can use 110 pound, you can use 65 pound. It's up to you. I'm just gonna use my pencil and I'm gonna trace all the way around it. It's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. I guarantee you when I cut it out, it's not gonna be perfect. And then I'm gonna also trace around my egg. Ah! It would help if you hold it in place. I, I, I'm gonna just say that, that would be helpful. And sometimes when I do things like this, it's not a whole lot of concentration, but for some reason, I get very quiet. So I'm going to put my pattern away. I no longer need it. And I'll be right back. Because I totally forgot to bring scissors. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to cut around my uh, traced lines. Again, I'm not being specific. And just to make the the scallop easier I am going to use my scallop scissors 
to go ahead and cut across that. Now, I'll show you this. I'll demonstrate it in a second. Um, if you have these scallop scissors by Fiskars, if you cut and go like that, sometimes it tears the tip right there. Um, it just sort of barely did. But depending on the paper you have, the cardstock, it could tear more than others. So just be aware of that. So that's why I never go all the way to the tip on that. And just a little more cutting. It's not a lot. And making your own pattern is not difficult. Where did my circle? I hid it for myself, guys. I don't know. I am slowly getting my crafty mojo back. I am slowly getting back to creating, uh, being productive is a whole other situation. <laughs> so the creating part is really fun, just sitting there and crafting, but sometimes creating a video or posting a video or reading, com well, not reading comments, but replying to comments. Um, can be a little, that's what I call productive. Non-productive for me at the moment, but I, I will get there. I'm forcing myself to do it. So, all right, so we got the egg and we got the, the, the crack of the egg to make the pocket. So, went ahead and chose some papers that seem to have fled my vision. I brought everything on this. Hold on. Yes, yes, I put it back in the paper pad. <laughs> Just <laughs> can't make this stuff up, guys. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on the front, and you decide if you want your egg facing that way or if you want it facing the other way. I don't know. I like it going that way. So I'm just going to add a glue. It's not going to take a whole lot. And um, do decide if your paper is one-way pattern or not. This one is not. And then you decide if you want to back it or not. I did not back mine. So I'm going to let that set for a minute. And then I'm going to come over here. And I kind of want this to go a little diagonal. Um, oops. There we go. Um, so it goes that way. So I want to glue on this side. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope that you're um, being more productive than I am. <laughs> and if you have not already, I'm going to ask that you please like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave a friendly comment below. I promise I'm getting back into uh, reading comments, not reading, but replying to comments. I'm not sure why that's here. I think it got picked up by something. Okay. And then, again, not very tricky, but you're just going to cut this out by following the lines. And it's a little easier because you kind of have the cardstock on top to tell you where to and not to go, even though it is white on white. And this one, I'm just going to go back to my scissors. And line those up and cut them out with the scallop scissors because it's easier that way. There. <laughs> All right. And then we've got this one. It's not white on white, so it's going to be even easier to cut out. It's a cute little embellishment or a cute little pocket. You can add it to a card front. You can put it in an embellishment book. There's so many possibilities to what you can do with this. Um, you could put it on the edge and make it also a card so it opens up. That would have been fun. So it could have gone like, like this and then you could open it 
but that this part would be not cut. So that's a possibility. Okay, so there's that. And then all you're going to, well, okay, my egg's going to go this way this time. <laughs> all you're going to do is add a little tiny bead of glue along the edge. I'm going to pause because I, I know I'm not going to be able to speak through that. Okay, so literally just one fine line all the way across. I don't know if you can see that bead of glue. It's very thin and narrow and tiny. And then you just line this up. And if you have any overhang, you can definitely come back with the scissors and trim that out because it's paper crafting. It's not rocket science. We don't get it always perfect, even if we have a die. So there's that. All right. So Bunny, there's our pocket. Here's our shadow. And here's my word. And we're just going to glue that on there. So I do appreciate all of you that are still supporting me. Um, I know I've been kind of missing in action for a little bit. i working on myself. I do appreciate you guys and your crafty love and your support. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Off the edge, off the edge. Okay. So you just put that down, get it centered. The glare is going right into my eyes, hopefully not yours. Let me pick it up. Okay, so this is just for you. And then, one moment. Okay, then on to the bunny. We've got the bunny, and we definitely have pink over here. So we're going to put the pink back behind the ears, and we're going to cut that out. So, what you can do, and I suggest this, is just take um, a couple little strips those are probably too much and then shine in frame put a little glue behind the ears and I'm just going to get that more defined so it's not Too much over the edge. There we go. So that will go right there and smear all over the place. Oh my gosh, I gotta look at the front. Okay. Now, if you have some that's showing right there, just kind of tuck your scissors underneath and snip it off. I think this one's a little off the edge. It won't, no one will pay that close attention, I promise. Okay. Got trash galore. And then I have some blue. It is a blue shimmer, but you know, you, you, just work with what you have. So you're not going to need a lot, just a couple little dots. This is way too much, actually. Probably just cut that in half. And I use that for the eyes so they stand out a little bit. They could be black, but you know. Am I in frame? Just put a little bit of glue around the outside of the eye hole. And then it, I don't think it matters which direction that goes, but it should actually cover the hole. <laughs> okay. And there's that one. And there we got Benny Eyes. And then if you take your, um, this is a micro pen. It is a 0.3 millimeter. 
and you just kind of decide which side you want to color in. And what you do to the one side, you do to the other. And then with these bennies, what I did was I just traced the etching lines here to define them a little bit more. Let me get my white pen. It's a Uniball Signo. Uniball Signo. I get these at Walmart. I still have not had to replace it yet. So just a couple little dots on the side there for highlights. Okay. And then you decide where you want your Benny to go. Oh! Some of them I have, um, so I use my crop -a dial I use the largest size to make rosy cheeks. And these two have it, that one does not. So, we're gonna knot on this one as well. Keep it consistent. So I'm just gonna put some glue down here. This is, um, glitter paper. So we're gonna go a little heavy with the glue, not too heavy. And put it somewhere where it's not gonna cover up the eyes. Somebody outside has loving their music. <laughs> I forgot foam tape. So I'm back. I snuck a little drink of water. I always have it here on the side. Okay. So now we have the paws. And, oh, look, there was some already over here. Eh. All right, so I take the gel pen and don't mind my ugly, ugly, ugly board. It's been well loved, well used. And I just take right where it goes down and I put a little line for the paws just to define those toes a little more. It doesn't have to be, but I like it that way. Just a little line. And we'll, let's see. We're not gonna need a lot of foam tape, just a couple little squares. If you already have them in little squares, I highly suggest you should just use those and not bother with trimming them out, but you know. I got enough stuff lying around. <laughs> uh, I do have some small thumb squares. Uh, where they are, I do not know. But um, I do have some. And yet I still tend to gravitate toward the 3M roll. <sighs> stick, uh, no, stick to my finger, stick to the paw. You know, adding extra glue for that wiggle room is is really nice, but then sometimes it just, when they're small, they just fight with you. Okay. So, I'm going to put a little dab there. And I'm just going to put this where I think it will look cute. Like right there. Like he's holding the sign. Or she. I, I'm going to say she because I put little bows in their hair. Even though the guys can wear bows in their hair too if they really want. They can. <laughs> All right. Enough fighting with it, right? I know tutorials can take a little bit of extra time, so I'm grateful and thankful that you guys are still with me, if you are still with me. All right, so there's that. To add stability, um, I went ahead and I took some cardstock. And actually I did this before I added the paws. 
you know what I'm just gonna do it this way and then I'm gonna glue it like I did the other one the last one I traced out and cut but this one I'm gonna just glue down and cut around so hopefully that'll be easier and then you know the back side because it pulls out of the pocket it will look prettier and you can decide if you want to use pink or if you want to use white or you know if you want to match the color that's up to you but um, for this I'm just going to use this is recollections 85 80 pound cardstock no it's not either it's it's um, I want to say accent opaque so I'm just gonna put Benny down Benny will glue and be extra cute and we will all be happy go ahead and get rid of the bulk that's what um, sometimes gets in the way of people when they're fussy cutting is that extra bulk so then I have um, 110 pound cardstock and um, just the recollection 60 pound or 65 pound I think this is 65 pound and figure out where you're gonna hold it and just glue it so when I went ahead and cut this out I was able to uh, put it through the dye machine and cut out two, the pink and the white at the same time. I love it when dyes are strong like that and can can cut through more than one layer and save me time. And then you just place it on here and you decide if you want to overlap and have a shadow or if you want um, to have it direct. I'm having it direct, I want it for stability and not um, decoration. Now I didn't bring my bone folder but I'm going to go ahead and use my scissor edge and just go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm, I'm giving this time to dry but I'm, I'm not going to give this time to dry. Um, just down here at the bottom. Oops, am I in the frame? And down here and just right there. And I'm going to put this down where I want it. And I'm going to make sure <laughs> that I don't have any glue on the back side peeking out. Because that is no fun when it glues down. Just make sure it's not gluing down. I also brought out these little gems. I'm not sure where they came from. It might have been a gift. It might have been... I don't know where I got them from. Some things I keep really good track of and other things I didn't in the beginning. Just a little dab of glue. It already has adhesive on the back, but so pretty. Okay, so I am not going to bore you with fussy cutting this out. I will be back. Magically done! Yay! Okay, so I also have um, some yarn here that I picked up. It's kind of, you know, sticking with the family of colors. Just going to snip off um, a thing. And I just tie my bows the way I normally tie bows. And then I just start shrinking it down. This yarn might be too bulky. We'll see. Yeah, we're going to go with it. And then snip those ends off. And put a little glue over on one ear. It's yarn. I add a lot. I want that not to come undone. And then if you so choose or desire, you can use your reverse tweezers to hold that in place. And there it is, guys. Simple, easy, quick. What did that take us? That was 25 minutes, um, give or take. And that really wasn't a lot of time. It was me finding a few things, but and explaining a lot but just you know cutting it out and all that stuff is it's not hard and if you cut out several at a time 
then it's not going to cause you, you know, take up too much time. So, with that said, I'm going to end here and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching, for hopefully you stay till the end. And um, I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.